So you may have learned that repeating decimals are a type of rational number. And as a rational number, we should be able to write it as a fraction with an integer numerator and denominator. But figuring out how to do that is a little bit tricky. So we're going to take through an example and show you how to do that. For my example, I'm going to convert 0 0.7 repeating into a fraction. And to do so, I'm going to bring in an algebraic concept, and I'm going to define a variable x to equal 0 0.7 repeating, just like this. So I'm saying that this variable x is actually equal to the number 0 0.7 repeating. And if this is true, then 10 times x is, has to be equal to 0 0.7 repeating times 10, which is going to be 7 point seven repeating. And that's because if I multiply a number by 10, all I do is slide the decimal place over like this. So now I have 10 times x is equal to 7.7 .7 repeating. x itself is equal to 0 0.7 repeating. And I can actually subtract the two. So on the left hand side, I'm going to write 10x minus x. On the right hand side I'm going to subtract an equivalent of x and again we know that x is equal to 0 0.7 repeating so I'm going to take away 0 0.7 repeating. Let's think about what happens here. On the left hand side I have 10x take away x. In other words I have 10 x's I take one away that leaves me with 9 times x on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I have 7.7 .7 repeating minus 0 0.7 repeating. If I subtract them, the 0 0.7 repeating parts, the 0 0.7 repeating parts are going to cancel each other out. 777 minus 7777 is going to give us a 0 after the decimal place. So this is going to be equal to 7.0. Now I have 9 times x is equal to 7, or 7.0. I want to solve for x, because remember, back at the top, x is an equivalent to 0 0.7 repeating. So I'm going to solve for that by dividing both sides of the equation down here by 9. On the left-hand side, 9 divided by 9 cancels out, leaves us with x. On the right-hand side, we have 7 over 9, or 7 ninths. Therefore, x is equal to 7 ninths. We already said that x is equal to 0 0.7 repeating, and later we showed that x is equal to 7 ninths. x is equal to 0 0.7 repeating, x equals 7 ninths. Therefore, 0 0.7 repeating has got to be equal to 7 ninths. 0 0.7 repeating is equal to 7 over 9. And we can use a similar method to convert any repeating, infinitely repeating decimal into a fraction. Uh, we just need to adjust uh, for if we need to multiply by 10 or 100, depending on how many decimal points it goes before it repeats. So give it a try with a couple more examples, see if you can follow the steps and convert a repeating decimal into a fraction. Thank you.